Hello. My name is Christopher. Today, we will continue through lesson number 6, about the landing gear type and configurations. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us to develop your skills for an aerospace engineer. So, let's start. Landing gear provides support and directional control of the aircraft while on the ground, and is a means for the aircraft to transition from the ground to the air. During landing and taxiing, the gear will provide a cushion effect that absorbs shock. A landing gear assembly consists of a shock strut, actuating cylinders, side and drag brace, torque links, and a wheel and brake assembly. When the landing gear is retracted during flight, drag is reduced. On most aircraft, the landing gear will be enclosed in an opening either in the nacelle, fuselage, or wings, and streamlined with doors. Bicycle Landing Gear The bicycle type landing gear consists of a main gear mounted in the forward fuselage and a second steerable main gear in the aft fuselage. Outriggers or wing tip protection gears may be provided to support and balance the aircraft wings during takeoff, landing, and ground operations. Tricycle The most common type of landing gear pattern is the tricycle type. This arrangement consists of a nose landing gear and two main landing gears. The main landing gears are located slightly aft of the center of gravity, the forward and aft balance point of the aircraft. The distance between the main landing gears will vary with the size of the fuselage and wings. Modified Tricycle Landing Gear The C5 landing gear is a fully retractable modified tricycle type with four main landing gear shock struts with six wheels mounted on bogey-type units that retract into pods on each side of the aircraft. The nose gear is a four-wheel steerable unit, which retracts aft into the fuselage nose wheel well. Quadricycle Landing Gear The quadricycle landing gear is used on the B-52 aircraft. It consists of four main gears mounted in the fuselage in the form of a rectangle and two outriggers or wing tip protection gears, as shown. The wing tip protection gear is located near the outboard end of each wing to provide lateral stability. The quadricycle landing gear retracts into the fuselage, which allows the use of a thinner wing design and results in greater speeds. Shock strut of landing gear The purpose of the shock strut is to absorb shock during takeoff, landing, and ground operation. The shock strut is a hydraulic unit that consists of several components. Each component serves a specific purpose. Outer and inner cylinder of landing gear the inner cylinder or piston is on the lower part of the strut and the axle is at the lowest point. The inner cylinder slides inside the outer cylinder to give the desired shock absorbing qualities. This shock strut is serviced with hydraulic fluid and nitrogen or dry air. A set of seals at the lower part of the outer cylinder keeps the unit from leaking oil or the air charge. Trunnion of landing gear At the top of the outer cylinder is the trunnion. This is the point at which the landing gear is attached to the aircraft structure. It is also the pivot point for extending and retracting the landing gear. Nose landing gear The torque links are attached at the base of the outer cylinder and just above the axle on the inner cylinder. The torque links are hinged in the middle and at their attaching points. This allows the inner and outer cylinder to telescope. Torque links also keep the inner cylinder from rotating or spinning. Steering system of landing gear Most aircraft have steerable nose wheels. Nose wheel steering provides a means of directional control when the aircraft is taxiing, during takeoff and on landing roll. Certain conditions must be present for nose wheel steering to operate. There must be DC electrical power, hydraulic pressure, and the ground safety switch must be closed. This is the end of this part of our lesson. Go to the next one, and don't forget to subscribe. Follow us for the next lesson. If you have any question, just make a comment, and see you next time.